Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be opening, unboxing and reviewing the brand new Ghostbusters 2021 Fright Feature action figures from Hasbro and I am really, really excited to finally get these guys in my hand and check them out. I've been really looking forward to these guys. So these are brand new and starting to hit store shelves right now. As of the time of this recording, they retail for approximately 10 to 11 bucks, depending on where you find them. So here we have all four of the Ghostbusters. I haven't picked up any of the other ghosts or anything like that in this line. I found the first four figures, the main Ghostbusters guys, and I just jumped right on them. So we're going to open all of these together. We're going to check them all out together. Let's take a look at the packaging real quick. So we've got here our brand new 2021 Ghostbusters packaging. We've got that yellow and black caution tape across the top here with the no ghost logo. We can see the figure inside. You can see we've got Pete Venkman. We've got a proton pack and we've got that fright feature ghost. Now something that seems to be different with these figures versus the original Fright Features figures from the 80s, that was that the characters had the Fright Feature. With this one, it looks like this is just a normal figure and it's the ghost that's gonna have the Fright Feature. So, a cool little twist on an old classic. Speaking of classics, we got the classic 1984 right there, Ghostbusters, Peter Venkman. And I really like the aesthetic of these figures because this kind of makes me think of what I wanted back in the 80s with the real Ghostbusters toys, this is what I kind of always wished they would look like, where it's a more cartoony version of what we saw in the actual movies. Very, very cool. Taking a look around the back, we've got our ghost right here. It doesn't appear that we have a name for these ghosts. It just says Ghost Fright Feature, and it shows us what it can do. And then we've got a short bio from Venkman. Uh, fast talking Pete Venkman is ready to face the spookiest ghouls around. Uh, and that's it. That's It's just a one liner and then it just keeps repeating it in uh, other languages. So there you go. That's about it for the packaging for Pete. Real quick, since we did look at his bio, we'll take a look at the other one. So here's uh, Ray. There's the ghost that he comes with. And again, you've got the Ray figure in the Proton Pack. I love that these are movie realistic Proton Packs. Absolutely love that. Around the back, again, Ghost Fright feature, no name given. And paranormal expert Ray Stance is always ready for any ghost he faces. And that's, that's the one line bio that we get for him. Taking a look at Egon. Uh, let's take a look at his packaging real quick. We can see his ghost once again, Egon Spengler. And around the back, Ghost Fright feature, no name given. And the brains behind busting, Egon Spengler takes on the most frightening ghosts in town. There you go. And then finally, Winston. And here we have a look at Winston in his package. His, I really love the way his ghosts look. Now, the thing about the ghosts that I'm noticing is that the ghosts for Egon and Winston seem to be the same, just in different colors. And the ghosts for Pete and Ray also seem to be the same, just in different colors. But there you go. And taking a look at Winston. Make sure that you can see that right there. Always dependable. Winston Sedmore never backs down from a ghostly challenge. And there you go. So that's it for the packaging on these guys. I always, in every single one of my dis displays, I always stand my Ghostbusters up in this order because this was the order that they were in the final fight with um, with Gozer at the end of the first movie. This is kind of the order that they stood in. So this is the order that I, in every single one of my Ghostbusters display, this is how I always stand them. But that's about it for the packaging. Let's get these guys opened up and check them out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I slowed it down here for just a second because I want to show you this. So the Proton Pack and the Wand are both on the front side of this bubble here, but the hose itself is on the back side of the bubble. So you want to be careful when you're opening these guys. You want to make sure they get the Proton Pack loose and you get the wand also loose. You're going to want to push that through and then pull it through here and then feed the hose back out through here. You can't just grab it and pull it because you, this is really soft and you might end up damaging it. So just take that into account when you're opening these guys. And here we have the Ghostbusters out of the package. And I am absolutely loving these figures. These are absolutely fantastic. So they stand approximately five inches tall. So they're about the same size, just a little taller in some cases than the old Fright Features or the old um, real Ghostbusters figures that we had back in the 80s. They're about the same size with the same points of articulation. Again, what this is, this this really kind of feels like the figures that I really wanted in my head when I was a kid playing with those original real Ghostbusters toys, which is, again, it's a cartoony version of what we saw in the movie. So the suits look like the movie suits. The characters look like the movie characters. The proton packs look like the proton packs in the movie. All of that just in a more kind of a kiddified kind of way. Absolutely love everything about these figures. I was on the fence on these guys, and I'm so happy that I decided to pick them up. So we're going to start right here with Winston, and uh, we'll take a look at him so you can see the details on him. And again, it's just a cartoon version of Ernie Hudson, if you will. And you've got the uh, the suit right there. You've got Zedmore. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you got the Zedmore name tech right there. Let's see if we can get that in there. There you go. So, yeah. Um, and you've got all the pockets. You've got the belt. You don't have a whole lot of the equipment hanging off the belt, uh, which, you know, I, I, I can understand. They're not going to go into the, all the molding and detailing of that. Uh, but the suit, you got... I'm really impressed with the fact that they molded in not only the all, all the pockets, but also all the wrinkles and the way that the bag, the pants kind of bag down towards the boot. The boot, these actually look like the Cochrane 2 boots, the jumper boots that they actually wore in the movie. Uh, yeah, very realistic, very... Very cool. Some minor details missing. Again, the equipment on the belt is not molded in. Uh, they don't have the leg hose. The uh, knee or the elbow pads, rather, uh, they are not. They're molded in, but they're not painted. So you know, you could probably just take a little bit of paint to that. The T-shirt underneath, also, you can see it's also the same color instead of being black. Again, you could probably just paint that if it really bothered you that much. But me, being how these are targeted towards a younger audience, let me see. The package says. Four plus. four plus. The package says four plus. So yeah, I mean, these are targeted towards a younger audience. They're the kids that we were when we were playing with the real Ghostbusters toys. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. I really love the way these look. Now the Proton Pack, let's go around the back there. And we can see again, the Proton Pack looks just like the Proton Pack in the movie. Uh, missing some minor paint detail. That's about it. But again, you could go in and put a little blue right here, put a little red on the Cyclotron, and uh, yeah, you'd, you'd have yourself a good movie-looking Proton Pack. The hose going all the way around. It's a very soft, rubbery plastic going into the wand. The wand also very soft, rubbery plastic, as you can see the handle. You want to be careful with this because you can actually bend these. But the wand, once again, looks like the wand from the movie which is really really cool as you saw he can they can hold it in their hand so you just kind of feed the hose in through the hand and then just kind of feed the wand down and there you go unfortunately uh you're going to be doing a one-handed shoot looks like uh they're they're not articulated enough to do a two-handed grab so that's unfortunate but understandable as well in terms of 
storing away the wand, what you're going to do is, there's a little tab right there. That's at, and I, I even love the fact that they angled the V-hook, you know, the little tab that stands in for the V-hook for the wand. That's even, that is angled. So that's really cool. So there's a little tab right there, and there's a slot on the bottom of the wand. So you just kind of turn this guy around and slot it right in there, and there you go. Now the wand is on the pack, and it is tilted forward as it should be. Very, very, very cool. To take the packs on and off, real simply, you just take it off. It's on a peg. It's keyed in, so you can see it's kind of like a half moon with a flat side. Peg and port right there, and then you can just pop them in right there. For articulation, you can turn them at the head, side to side. The arms can go forward and backwards all the way around. And, of course, if the pack is there, it's going to get in the way. And then the legs are going to go forward and back about that far. So that's about it. So again, they got the same level of articulation as the real Ghostbusters figures had back in the 80s. Taking a closer look at Egon, let's take a look again at his head sculpt. And again, it looks like Egon from the movie, just a little cartoony version of him. Absolutely love that. You got that Spengler uh, name tag right there. And then just kind of checking out the rest of the molded details. The Ghostbusters logo on the shoulder looks really nice and crisp. And then going all the way around to see the pack let's take this one and yeah this one is really really bent uh like i showed you guys during the unpacking or the unboxing you guys want to be real careful with these wands these wands are very very soft plastic so you want to be careful unpacking those so that you don't damage them but there you go and i'm just going to have him hold his wand so i can get, let them just to let the wand kind of have an opportunity to uh straighten itself out just because it's so soft here's ray Taking a look at Ray again. Pretty cool depiction of uh, of Dan Aykroyd. I think the forehead needed to be a little taller, but other than that, <laughs> yeah, very good looking Ray stance figure with the stance name tag right there. You got the No Ghost logo, and you've got all the details and the Proton Pack. And then finally, let's take a look at Venkman. Venkman! Venkman! So, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's amazing how they always find a really good way of depicting Bill Murray in all of these figures. I absolutely love that. So there you go. You've got the Venkman um, name tag right there, and you've got the No Ghost logo and all the same details as the rest of the figures. The bodies look very similar. In fact, I was wondering if they were the same body or not. They might be the same body, taking a good look at them. In the packaging, they look like they might have some minor differences in the bodies, but no, as I'm looking at them now, I think they are the same body for all of these figures. So there you go, and again, side to side on the neck. Let's see, is that on the, it's on the top of the neck or is that the bottom of the neck? Okay, so the head and the neck are one piece attached. It goes all the way down in there, and the rotation is down in here somewhere. So there you go, forward, backwards on the arms, forward, backwards on the leg. So there you go. That's it for the figures themselves. Let's take a look at the ghosts. So again, here's the ghosts that, that come with, let's do these together since they're pretty much the same thing. So these are the ghosts that come with uh, Pete and Ray. So you can see what these guys look like together. Let me try and get that focused in a little better. There you go. Uh, just uh, painted differently. I like the paint on this blue one better because they actually painted the mouth and the teeth where the one that came with Ray is just completely unpainted. Uh, this one, even they even painted the eyes on this one. This one's just completely unpainted and undetailed. That's that's really kind of not cool. Not very cool at all. Uh, the fright features are honestly kind of dumb. So there's a little button right there. You just push down on that, and that's going to open up. And then there's a little tongue in there that just kind of spins. And, uh, and then you can just close it right back up again. Same on this one. You just press that little tongue that spins around right in there. And that's, that's about it. So it's not the level of, of action that we had with the ones from the 80s. Now, these took me a minute to figure out. These are weird. <laughs> so the ones that come with Egon and Winston. Let's take a look at these guys. And they look like a little tubby dude. Uh, kind of cool. And these these are kind of funny because they have a kind of like a, like a streaker action, if you will. Now, these took me a minute to get going right. So the neck is on a spring you can actually pull the neck back so you have to pull on the neck kind of pull it back and then push on this button at the same time and what it's going to do is those are going to pop open and then you got the little ghost in there and it doesn't work the best especially if you have it on the table and you're trying to hold it while pressing the button then the head's going to push down and, and, and kind of hold the panel shut so it won't work that way so the best way that i found is you actually have to hold the figure in your hand 
push the head back or pull the head back while you're pushing on the button just to kind of get that to work. So there you go. That's how that works. We'll open. We'll have one open and one closed on each of these. How about that? Taking a look at this one, same thing. Let's open that one up. And then same thing on this one. You just kind of hold the head back and press the button and it's going to pop open. So yeah, again, it's not the most impressive uh, feature. Um, and again, I know that the ones from the 80s didn't also weren't the most impressive thing in the world. But, you know, um, I think they were still kind of better than these. So, but that's okay. Now, for comparisons, here is the brand new um, Ghostbusters uh, Ecto-1. Uh, this is the one that's in stores right now. When I saw these, I was hoping that these would be in scale with the Ecto and that we finally got some figures we could put in there, even if they're cartoony with a realistic Ecto. Not the case. Again, these are about as big as the original uh, real Ghostbusters figures. So these are way too big, as you can see, uh, for that Ecto. They're just not going to fit in there. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But there is another Ecto that is coming out that is meant for these guys right here. So let's go ahead and take this guy out right here and bring in the real Ghostbusters Ecto. Because what I want to test out... It, what I think is going to happen here, I think these guys are actually going to be in scale with the real Ghostbusters Ecto-1. So we're just going to move everybody aside for a moment. Take these guys over here. Let's move these guys out of the way. And I got a really good feeling about this. I have not tested this again. I'm just opening. You guys saw me open these in camera. I am doing this all for the first time with you guys right now. It's a little tight, and I think I know why. But hey, check it out. That works. Look at how good that looks. That's fantastic. I absolutely love how that works. That is awesome. Oh, that is so cool. So at least until I get the new Ecto that's coming out, at least we know that we can get these guys to work with these figures. And they go in and out of the Ecto about as easily as the original <laughs> figures did. So I guess... That's something. Let's set that off to the side and we're going to give him his proton pack back. Now, let's get these guys standing here uh, because we have one more comparison that we want to do. And uh, then we we'll, and then I'll, I'll let you guys go on recess. How about that? So <laughs> let's get these guys standing right here. Here they are next to their real Ghostbusters counterparts. And yeah, like I was saying, they are just, they're about the same size. They're definitely the same scale. Most cases, they're going to be a little taller than the original figures, just because these new figures are all using the same body, uh, where the ones from the 80s, the Kenner figures, did not. So Egon being the tallest, he's about the same size, just a tad taller than the new Egon. All of the other guys, they're all going to be a little taller than their 80s counterparts. But there you go. So you can see one more time how they look together. And again, yeah, these new figures, this is exactly what I wanted when I was a kid. This is very, very cool. So there we go, one last look at the Ghostbusters 2021 Fright Feature action figures. I absolutely adore these. These are exactly what I wanted when I was a kid. Again, don't get me wrong, I had the real Ghostbusters figures, and I loved my Kenner real Ghostbusters figures, but I always wished that they would look like this, and we finally got it. 35 years later, I absolutely adore these. Again, these are starting to hit retail stores and online retailers right now. As of the time of this recording, I will put a link down below where you can find these guys. As always, let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there if you want to hit on that. I certainly would appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.